poetry's deep. I never f- Let's move it out now. That's right. Uh-huh. West Coast shit. West. From San Diego to Santa Cruz to Kubi Cool. That's right. Watch when Doja goes Watch off. Watch when Doja goes right. off. Turn the beat up. But, 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 so one time. Yeah. Y'all ready? Hmm. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye. Watch. Watch when Doja goes off. Just like they hit the we keep but uh-huh. the beat blah, now. Blah, blah. Watch when Doja goes off. When Doja goes huh? off with the beat blah, now. Blah, blah, with the beat blah, blah. now. Just like they hit I'm we the keep blah, blah, with the blah, beat blah, now. Blah, huh. blah, blah. Rappers act so wild. They love the profile. Wow. They love the fun, but ain't got no style. Hi guys, it's Carol with a K makeup artist and beauty expert with IC Artistry. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. I hope you'll come back and visit often. Please click that button and subscribe so you can see all the videos that I'll be putting out for you. So today I'm gonna do a video about brows. Um, Brows can really make or break your look if you have too strong of brows or too few uh, of brows. It can really make a huge difference in your makeup look in general. The main thing to remember is that the eyebrows are sisters and not twins so they should match but they don't have to be identical so i'm going to show you how i do my brows and hopefully it will give you some tips on how to make your own um, look their best so here's the video i hope you enjoy it so as you can see i don't have much in the way of brow hair it's very very sparse um, so I actually lighten my brows to match the color of the hair on my head. And I just use one of those little over-the-counter um, that um, products that I get at the beauty supply that is a hair bleaching cream. It's actually for the face, but I use it on my brows. And I just leave it on for a few minutes until they get as light as I want them to get. And then I just take it off. And you just do that just like you would a normal hair color every few weeks. So first you want to determine where your brows begin and end. So if you take a little pencil um, or a little stick, you want to start at the side of the nose. That's where your brows should begin. There shouldn't be anything any um, closer in than this point. So that's where the edge of the brow should begin. Okay. And then when you want to see where it should end, you just move your pencil like a little dial, the side of your nose to the side of your eye and that's exactly where your brow should end it shouldn't go any further than that and then for the highest point of the brow you want to look pretty much straight on in the mirror and where your pupil is you want the highest point of your brow to go just the side of that so kind of diagonally from your pupil that's where the highest point of your brow should be um, that's very helpful if you don't have brows if you actually have brows and you're just filling them in you can just follow the natural shape of where your brows go so first I'm going to just brush them up the hair that I have and then I'm using this um, powdered eyebrow pencil this one is from Lancome it's a color called mahogany which is kind of a reddish brown which matches my hair um, pretty well so you want to start from and I always start at the tail because the tail should be the darkest and wherever you start first, you tend to put your pencil down the heaviest, so that's gonna be the darkest. And I'm starting right at the top of the um, arch, and I'm going towards the end. And you can kind of guesstimate just a little bit where it should end, and again, if you have any questions, you can use your little pencil test, and you can take off or add as you need to there. But you see how defined this makes my brow. So I put that there okay the next thing that I do is I am going to really make it defined by using a, a thin um, eyebrow pencil and the one that I love is from Mac it is called stud it's their really thin liner pencil and what I do is I just go I just outline my brow so I start right here and then I go just up towards where I've already filled in and I don't press really hard you just press very lightly and you just outline it that gives you definition under the bottom and then I go over the top making sure to just accent that arch and then I just blend it in to the side of the brow see how that looks and that's what really gives me the shape and definition to my brows. Don't 
Now I'm going to take an angled brush that looks like this and I'm going to take a kind of a reddish brown, actually a powdered eyeshadow and that's what I'm going to use to fill in my eyebrows. And um, one of my favorites to use is actually uh, Anastasia and Auburn. And um, your brow hair, just like the hair on your head, is not a single shade. So you shouldn't really use one shade to fill it in. You should use color and highlight. And that's why I really like the Anastasia brow color because it gives you a darker color and a highlight color all in one. And then I just kind of mix those two together. So you use the angled side and you brush up and then you brush into the brow hair and that's what actually fills it in. And then I always take my little spoolie brush and brush through it again because that removes any excess brow powder and just kind of blends in where you've outlined and filled in. And then you get a nice shaped brow. Um, and then what I also like to do is to take a little bit of a lighter color um, eyeshadow and put it right below the brow bone and that's what helps it to really stand out. It really accents the arch on that. So now I'm going to take just a really light color, kind of a very pale um, golden beige tone. And when I'm accenting my brows, I go just right. I start at the point, the highest point of my arch and then I just kind of dust it, sweep it across. And that really accents the shape of your brow. And you can also take a little bit of concealer or foundation if you want and go just over the top here. And then that also helps to accent the brow. So that's it, an easy way to get beautiful brows. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Please feel free to comment here or on any of my pages and let me know what you think of the video or let me know if you have any questions or requests on anything that you'd like to see me do. Um, until next time, stay beautiful.